No, I, I if you think yeah, if you think you see the future, you know, that sounds like you're trying to be a prophet. That sounds just like that doesn't really sound religious. That just sounds like some, you know, mumbo jumbo to me. Well, I'm not saying that it is the definite future, but it is a possible future. And I am looking and I am looking to make that happen. Well, make it happen. I am going to. Do it. You, it's not. I mean, if it's not a message from God, it's just you should go out. You should do it. You should, you know. Why, why yeah. don't you go? You, know, you don't don't wait for it. I mean, it sounds like you're just sitting around waiting for it. I mean, how how when was the last, When did you have this dream exactly? Yeah, I pretty much. I pretty much had it uh, sometime when I was between seven and nine years old. And seven. Then did, Twenty years ago. Excuse me. And, and nothing has happened between then and now? You know, I mean, like, you know, back then, I was, I was definitely, like, in, I was definitely, like, in my elementary school years. And you and hold then, on to this yeah. dream. I'm, yeah, I mean, hold you, on to that. I mean, you're almost, you're almost 30. I mean, you're, you, you know, time is, time is going to start working against you, you know. I mean, it's... Yeah. Life is short. Yes, it is. So, I agree. and you're, and you're living with your parents. I mean, what, what do you do all day exactly? Yeah, well, so, yeah, well, I I get creative. I uh, I like to draw in color, and uh, sometimes I like to create with my hands. Like you know, I sculpt, and uh, even and even go as far as you know, just tinkering with whenever I feel like tinkering with. Uh, you know, I even have techn- I even I am even technologically smart. I had I even took a computer upgrading class where I had where I put together a computer, a personal computer from scratch. So why aren't you okay. working building computers or something? Sounds like something you could do. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Plus also I definitely do get some I pretty much did get started on a techno savvy, I would say, for my father, because he he was a he's a retired technical engineer. He worked for GE for a great number of years. He also uh, was in the war. Well, he was stationed over in the over in Korea in the Signal Corp. He he designed the controls for the plastic for the plastic older machines for one of his one of his achievements. You know, so without him, you would not have the. Uh, Plastic for at the for at the very least the two year soda bottle. That's that's all fine and good. I mean your father. I mean, but I'm not talking about your father. I'm talking about you. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I'm pointed out as an as the uh, as him being my technological influence. But 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 you haven't done anything, you know. Unlike your father, that's that's what I'm getting here. That's. It's not good, son. I mean, when I was 27, I already had a, I already had a wife and kids. I was working 40 hours a week. Mm. Mm. Yes, well, my father didn't marry. My father did not marry until the first time until he was 30 himself. Yeah, but but you know, he probably also had a job and he was probably living on his own, and he was also in the military, like me. So I don't I don't really care about what your father did because you know that's what he did. It's not what you did. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand what you're talking. I understand you're talking about and and your point. Right. And Some, and while uh, I while I mean I may and while I am trying to make a valid point myself, I feel uh, I feel like that you know we both are definitely are understanding each other really i must say i'm i'm not uh not really impressed uh well but uh let, let's move on now let's let's talk about a little bit about what you think about my my lovely daughter you know what was uh what was the first thing you uh liked or noticed about casey i noticed her beautiful face her beautiful face yeah and her blue green eyes are like, I like a pair, I like a pair of swimming pools that I would just, that I would just love to swim, swim around, and bathe myself in. <laughs> so, 
So, uh, so the first thing you notice is to repair it. As well, just to let you know, sir. Yeah, first thing you notice was. But, but also, I de- also, you know, I definitely like to uh, take notes. You know, over time, over talking to her, and I've learned that you know she's very smart and very a whole lot, and very fun to hang around with, and she definitely knows what she's talking about. If anything, I <laughs> she could be a little bit smart. She could be smarter than me on some things. But yeah. still, the first thing that uh, you noticed was her appearance. Yeah, so, so it's like you yeah, know, you're, you're looking uh, for like a yeah. trophy wife or something. It's it's kind of funny. No, I, no, no, I did not. No, okay, well, I right, well, maybe I maybe that was the wrong thing. So, uh, I mean, uh, I was like the first thing I noticed about her when, when we met in person, but we, when we talked first, you know, bet- you know, between uh, phone calls and emails, after kind of an indirect internet meme there. But anyway, I actually learned first that she was. Very, I actually learned that she was smart and very delightful to talk to. And then, you know, after, and then after a while, she and I met in person, and then I got to appreciate her. And then I got to appreciate her face. You Doesn't, know, the face and the, sm- and the and the smart, charming wit behind it. This doesn't really, uh, uh, this doesn't really uh, add up to to what Casey told me. You know, I mean. Uh, yeah, you know, so, from from the impressions I got from what she said about her fir- your first uh, first little encounter, we'll call it. You now she said she was a little bit um, she was a little bit uncomfortable around you. You know, you know, and, she, and apparently when you first talked to her, you know, you actually were pretending to be somebody else. Actually, you know this, you know that other Chris, you know that. Yeah, well, he, was, yeah, yeah, that was another thing. Yeah, all right, did, yeah, well, she didn't like yeah, that didn't much. I, I, Okay, well, actually, yes. Well, Kim helped me, yeah, our friend Kim. Yeah, she helped me uh, get into that Chris's email account. Because he was, because before I ever, before I ever met, before I ever learned about Casey, he was you pretending know, to be me. And, you know, uh, that Chris, you know, was her boyfriend at the time, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's a, but, I, I've actually talked to that guy, you know, met him in person. He's a, he's actually a pretty nice kid. Yeah, but if you, if you notice his YouTube videos, he does uh, go, he does get he does get a little crazy. But anyway, anyway, for the for the past I say greater months now, he was I mean you know he's pretending to be me for at least up to a few months ago where he pretends he uh, I mean like yeah, I'm I'm assuming pretend that you know he gets kidnapped and tied up and then uh, sent to the desert. But then, then Casey tells me that uh, that possibly happened because police found the uh, uh, emotional wait, wait found him in the desert. But wait I'm going off track. I'm going off track here, here a bit. But that doesn't that just doesn't it, make any sense to me. I mean, why would he pretend to be you? You know, someone yeah, like you. You know, guy yeah, who because, lives with his parents. Yeah. And okay, well, you see, okay. Well, first off, I'm internet famous for being the original creator of the. Uh, it was like a, it's like a combination of Sonic the Hedgehog and Pikachu, but it's like uh, uh, kind of a combination parody. And uh, so I was so I'm like the original creator of Sonic Chew and Rose Chew, the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon. And uh, I, and my and I, and I and I created him back on March seventeenth, two thousand. I and, that, and I had and I drew the comic. That page, sounds. I drew the comic books. Uh, uh, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, I. I originally started that back in 2000, and uh, yeah, I've done, yeah, I've drawn, a, yeah, I've drawn a few books up to now. I'm still doing some okay, drawing so because I, I don't like to leave an unfinished project finished. You but know, I have absolutely way. no idea what you're talking about. I mean, I, I barely know what Sonic the Hedgehog and Pokemon is, other than it's kid stuff. So, so basically, what I'm getting here is that you took two like kids things and put them together. You know, two copyrighted yeah, but, kids yeah, things. And yeah, but it's like you know, but it's like a whole new character. And my and my father has actually, has a good knowledge about the copyrights and whatnot. And he and uh, he and he verifies for me that I have I have been in the clear the whole I have been in the clear the whole time from the beginning. 
to uh, continue to continue on with uh, Sashi.